are you? Conan, I'm great. All the better for seeing you. Yes, I'm a, they say that I'm the best medicine in these times. Well, especially with your hair like that. I, I know, <laughs> it's out of control. I haven't had a haircut in a while. And uh, it's when I try- cheer- It cheers me up, Noanne. Actually, I actually had a haircut on Saturday, just for you. Oh, thank knowing, you. <laughs> knowing that I was gonna be on, t- uh, on TV with you. So. Yeah. Clearly, yeah, you look very nice. Uh, clearly, you cared a lot more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's so absurd when talking to you, John, to, to mention just some of your credits because you've done so much. So to say Third Rock or, you know, uh, or, or The Crown, it feels like, well, we're not mentioning the 9,000 other things you've done uh, to great acclaim. Do you... What's the project you think you hear about the most from fans? When you're walking down the street pre-COVID, no one's got a mask on, what do people want to talk to you about? I, well, it, it could just could be any number of things. I mean, because of what you just said, I, I am this curiosity of an actor who is known for many different things. So you walk down one block of a crowded street, something you cannot do anymore, Right. And people will stop me for a whole variety of things. Uh, Third Rock in the Sun, Dexter, The Crown, mm-hmm. some appearance on the Conan O'Brien show 20 years ago. Yeah. Right. Perhaps my most memorable work. I old piggy when... <laughs> Come on, kids. <laughs> Many people have won Oscars for their appearances on my show, which is a <laughs> yes. very unusual, but it can happen. It does. <laughs> it does. Uh, you know, Third Rock was an interesting role for you because because you were an alien, you were allowed to, as an actor, display just about anything you're able to do. You know what I mean? You could you <laughs> could have the superpower of showing anything that John Lithgow can do. That must have been <laughs> a real kick for you. Well, that's almost the definition of what was so special about that project, that role, and a big reason why I took it on. Do you have a favorite moment where you got to do something that you'd never get to do otherwise? Yes. Uh, I would say perhaps the uh, the Irish clog dancing I did <laughs> in the episode where we parodied the Lord of the Dance. Uh-huh. We had him for Michael Flatley. We were so determined to take him down because uh, he was such such a smug, uh, self-important uh, artiste. <laughs> and Bonnie and Terry created this, this thing called The King of the Jig. And I and the entire cast of the show poured out of the theater, having just seen this. And in my exhilaration, I started dancing like Michael Flatley. And then everybody did. It was, it was one of those uh, electrifying moments on Third Rock, where, which was a show where anything could happen. And well, that you know, just for fans, and I know this was a, a favorite of people's, I, I remember this really well. Uh, we have that clip right now. come back now delighted that we've seen it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an actor right <laughs> yeah oh my god i uh, i was transported during the entire <laughs> time 